Hey guys, hey. Hey, you guys are doing. It is you guys are doing. I believe it's Wednesday for me. I don't time, date, or calendar on this piece. Um, I don't math. Hell, I, I do rarely anything besides cry and, and bitch usually. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much why you watch me because that's pretty much all I do. So, <laughs> and upon occasion, I make y'all chuckle. So, today, um, I could not sleep. I have been up for many an hour, but since my baby, you know, has to sleep for work, I am, I have to kind of lay there and go, I wish I could sleep, 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 if I could only sleep, I'd love to sleep, if I could sleep. I don't like having to take medicine to go to sleep. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, mostly, guys, just because it's, it's a pain in my ass. Like, I don't want to rely on medications to force myself to stay asleep. It's not just staying asleep, it's... No, it's exactly just staying asleep. I get two or three hours of sleep every single solitary night and then that shit wakes me up. Unless I drug myself to the gills. Um, Ambien doesn't work for me. Like, um, uh, Trezodone doesn't work for me. Some of the other dones don't work for me. Like, I've tried them. Um, for a while I was doing a cocktail of Valium, which, um, and, um, Xanaflex, which I was told to before somebody in the keyboard, keyboard warrior, you're all right, calm down, I'm all right, calm, relax them titties, relax them, we good, we good girl, so that was the cocktail I was using, um, I took myself off the Valium, well, me and my, my psychiatrist took me off the Valium because I didn't want Valium and Ativan, so I was like, I'm just not going to take both, like, it's just, I don't want both, both of those are benzos, um, and to be honest with you, the Valium doesn't really do anything. We were trying to give me the Valium um, in order for me to be less anxious. And it's supposed to have like a 35-hour like uh, shelf life. Not shelf life, but like um, time in your body. About 35 hours and I didn't get damn near none. It really depends with the distal where your medication um, metabolizes. Uh, if it metabolizes in the liver, I don't always get it all. If it metabolizes in your stomach, I ain't got one. And if it metabolizes in your small intestine, well, I'm fucked. So, <laughs> I'm, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, I'm all right. It just, I'm, would like to sleep a little longer. That's all. That's about it. Um, somebody's going to ask me probably or wonder... Um, what kind of protein shake I drink. This is Click Active with just milk, a little bit of ice. Um, I forgot to bring all my awesome freaking cups with me. Um, so I don't have any of my cool tumblers. I don't have any. And I've got that stuff all packed up. So it's not like I can get my mother-in-law to dig through all those boxes because they're too heavy for her. She can't, she can't pick them up. And like, can you send me all my cups, girl? And during my live feed, I was telling you guys, like, it ain't like I can run over to Walmart real quick. <laughs> they got one. So, hopefully the BX will have at least, like, an, you know, one of the off-brands something. Um, the off-brands are, you know, the Ozarks and stuff like that. They're just as good. I mean, I don't have to have a damn Yeti. It doesn't, that, that doesn't matter to me. But I miss my, um, my protein shake one that, you know, kept my protein shake um, constantly cold, which was a, a 20 ouncer. So I could sit here and sip this forever and not have to worry about it getting hot because once it gets hot, I don't. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. Though you can put this in the microwave. I like it cold. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I just like it cold. So. Yeah, so that's Click Active. That is the Mocha. I have also had the French Vanilla and have finished the entire bottle. Now, I brought the Click Mocha with me. I have to buy another bottle of it because also my wife loves it. My wife loves it. She's actually shared it with, with people in her office. So, um, there, was, there was two questions yesterday, and I will get to what, my weight and everything because that's squirrel. This is the second time I tried to make this video, so squirrel times two. Um, there, there were two easy questions that I could answer from yesterday's live feed about Evelyn and I. 
Um, the first one is uh, how is the, the military dealing with her? Be fantastic. Fucking amazing, actually. Um, so, another, like, actually, I mean, honestly, we haven't had any problems whatsoever. Things are getting signed. Things are getting done. It's, it's actually amazing. So, the military has been fucking awesome, to be honest with you. And then, um, the other one was Squirrel. Come on. The other one was... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Squirrel. So much squirrel. Um, somebody else asked me something yesterday. Oh, um, Deborah. So Deborah um, had kind of a, sorry, miscommunication. I don't know if she's going to see this one or not. Um, yesterday, I actually asked Evelyn about it. She said she was okay with me kind of, you know, touching on it. Now, the reason being is that we have decided to re-enlist. So it is a little more precarious than when we were just going to get out in January. So before, before I drop you guys, um, before, when, when we decided to, to do this in August, she and I had not decided that we were going to re-enlist. It wasn't until I got sick again and then we realized that I have to have medical care that is just way more than what we could afford outside with other insurances. So when we realized that I need surgery on my arms for the, um, for the ulnar nerves being compressed in my, my carpal tunnel, especially in my right arm, uh, we realized pretty damn quick there's no way in hell that I would be able to get this done and it be um, cheap enough to, you know, the, the usually 500 to $1,000 for surgery, we couldn't afford that, but with TRICARE Prime, they will take care of it. So, I have a few things that they need to take care of that is not skin related. Well, I mean, technically this is skin related, but um, yeah. So, uh, that is why we are not doing that video at this particular moment. It is not that it's that we're trying to tease you all. Oh, keep watching the channel and eventually we'll tell you all about it. That's not it. We need to wait until she's she's got all the papers signed and everything's good and then, you know, the military, if you guys are not military brats, if you don't know much about the military, there's not a whole hell of a lot that I can talk about because they do watch your stuff. So, they do watch your stuff. They, they do absolutely watch my stuff. And there are people who we know that she has worked with or work with now whose wives watch my stuff. Hey, guys. So, if I was to do something stupid, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of leaning over so I'm slightly drooling on myself. I'm sorry. If I was to do something stupid or say something stupid, it could neg negative, bleh, negatively, it could be bad. It could be bad for us. So, it could hurt our chances to do other things which are very important to us. So, it's not that we're not wanting to share said information. It is that it is not wise for me to just blah, it all out there until you know we have everything dotted signed and and all's well so all the paperwork is already put in all the stuff is already being done um we're just waiting for stuff to come back because it takes a while for stuff to come back so after all of that is done um we will be more than happy to do that stuff but right now I think you guys know me well enough and know that I'm honest enough on this fucking channel to tell you the damn truth and I've never held stuff like that over you guys' head because that's stupid. And then nobody would watch me because that's clickbait and I don't like that. So uh, I'm not much of a clickbaity person. I, I pretty much tell you exactly what the hell I'm going to say. If the, the title says, you know, uh, elephants are nice, I'd probably talk about how elephants are nice in the, in the title. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had much sleep. I don't know. Anyway, anyhow, anywho. So, uh, like I said, well, maybe I didn't say in this one again. Sometimes I say double the thing because I made another video and it sucked. And so I had to make a new one. And then that one was like seven minutes. So God knows what the hell I said in that one. So, I could not sleep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so, I walked to the rec center. Um, not the one on base. The one in the building next to us. 
So I walked to the rec center. I just wanted to see what they had. I want. I, I couldn't sleep. I was like, ah, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. And being awake with her needing to get up at like five, you know, four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. Me rolling around in bed in pain um, and being miserable because I hurt and I can't sleep. That's not fair to her because that wakes her up and that affects her job. So I got up. Um, you know, I quietly let myself out of the house, and then I went to go look at the rec center just to see, you know, w what's available for me if I want to go use that, and they did have a scale. So I was like, hmm, well, I haven't really done number two today, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I weighed in at 238 pounds, point one. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did, girl. So, I'm out of the 240s. Um, I'm super happy about it. I might have said that at the very beginning of this crap, but, again, I can never remember. Hashtag squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Um, yeah, so I hope that answered your question just a little bit better, Deborah, if you are watching this one, because um, I really did feel bad about how that went yesterday. Um, she asked a question, and... I don't think she heard the answer of, you know, we're not going to talk about that at the moment. Because yesterday, I just wanted to get on and see what you guys were up to because I was I was lonely. And I wanted to see, you know, if, if I got on at that specific time, would you guys be awake and, you know, um, willing to engage and stuff like that. So, that's when I got on. So, for right now, like I said, it's like 5 something in the morning for me. And it's not for y'all, so, or most of y'all. So, um... Yeah, I'm just sitting here kicking stuff and like cleaning the house and whatever. But I was just really, 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 really excited to see that, you know, um, I'm, I'm out of the 240s. I've been stuck in the 240s for a while. Um, and I know why. I mean, you know, I haven't been able to go to the gym and I don't always eat the nicest. So, uh, but truth is the truth, right? Like, you be honest with yourself. If you're honest with yourself, then you know what the hell the problem is and you can fix it. When you keep lying to yourself and you lie to everybody else saying, oh, I just eat perfect every day and I don't know why the hell I can't lose some weight. Get off your ass. Quit putting crap in my mouth. That's what I have to do every single solitary time. I start bitching about how I can't lose weight. Actually, I never bitch that I can't lose weight usually because I know what my problem is. Stop putting crap in your mouth. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. So that's usually the issue. So, um, I do not drink coffee anymore. I don't drink tea, but I will have a protein shake because I need the extra protein. Um, so messaging with my doctors in the United States because I can do that. Um, I talked about my hair. And the fact that the color didn't stay in my hair and it's it's probably because it is lacking protein um, even though I eat nothing usually but a ridiculous amount of protein every day I still malabsorb a whole lot of it so we may actually have to um, take my blood while I'm here see my protein level and then there's a medicine that people like me can take that helps break down protein so you can digest it just a little bit better. So I might have to do that. Um, that might be why I'm losing some of my hair. It's not just the fat because I did ask about that. Um, I was told, yes, it is part of that, but it is not as bad as the, you know, why it's so dried out and why it's not taking the color because it didn't. Um, literally after like two washes most of the color has come out like you can see it's gone back to like you know my shitty brown color ish or it's about to so golly with the baby hairs so that's pretty much all about that but it was it was just that you know I wanted to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can for my body because I feel bad um not doing everything I can in order to be healthy so, I've done all this to myself. I've had all these surgeries. I've done everything so I could, you know, feel better. And, yeah. So, I've done everything to, to, to feel better. And then for me to kind of just, you know, 
the off is the way I want to put it. Um, I, I feel like that's a disservice to my surgeon. That's a disservice to myself and, and my wife and everybody who's tried to help me. And even to you guys who have supported me all this time. Like, giving up is not an option. Not that I'd want to do that. But, you know, in the past I have floundered a lot. And especially when I got super depressed. And I was super depressed when I got home. But I managed to keep my weight where I wanted it. Which was in the, you know, early 240s. But... Being able to get down a couple pounds, um, even with lady time, so that's probably going to be, you know, 235-ish after I'm done with lady time. So, we'll see next week. I'll, I'll weigh myself again next week. We'll see how that rolls. Um, let's see. We sous vide chicken last night, um, chicken breast. I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest with you. It is super juicy. It is super amazing. I just don't like it like I don't know what my problem is with chicken I have been uh, chicken had been my number one all I wanted to eat was chicken 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 now since my distal I don't want it I don't want chicken at all like every time I get chicken I'm, I want it it didn't matter how I cook it how I marinate it how I literally I can grill it I can bake it I can broil it I can CV the damn shit it could be chicken thighs it could be thighs and, and like tacos it, mm -mm, I don't want it like my body just does not want chicken it wants beef and I don't want to eat beef but it wants beef um so I'm struggling with that I'm struggling with that a lot and I'm still trying to find um like the gardenia um chicken strips which is what I was eating at home which I loved so much because then I didn't have to eat chicken and I got the taste of chicken with a ton of protein and everything that's good in it and mine is so much um, even though it kind of gave me gas, but who cares? Most everything does anyway. But, I don't know. I feel kind of, I feel kind of poopy because I don't, like, she loves chicken. So, a lot of the food that I cook for her because we are trying to be healthier is chicken breast and chicken thigh, uh, boneless, skinless, you know, that kind of stuff. And cooking healthier meals. But, I do not want them. I don't want them at all. Like, I just... I don't want it uh, unless it's fried chicken and then of course it's fried chicken and then I shouldn't have fried chicken because it's fried chicken so you know I have to kind of <laughs> to kind of play this by ear for now um you know I'm surviving on p3s and you know little things that we're making here and there and lunch and meat like I always do and cheese and then hopefully I'll kind of get my groove back to where I'm, I'm eating the things that that you know we used to eat all the time like I'll make chili and stuff like that but it's still a little hot here so yeah. oh that's what I was gonna say you guys will probably see this if I didn't already talk about it in this video and I hate it when I make more than one video because then I feel like I've said something that mm. anyway so I've, the thumbnail will be my 238 thumbnail now number one people like to say that you have to do before and after. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I'm damn near 40 years old. If I want to do after and before, I'm gonna. Don't tell me what to do. I don't tell you how to do your pictures, do I? No. Then don't expect everybody to do what you want. Mm -mm. There ain't no rule. There's no gastric bypass, distal, weight loss surgery rule that says that I have to put my you know, befores and after in, in the slides. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm, nope and neither do you I don't want to I don't want to so today I didn't and usually I don't and people are like well is that your before or is that your after and I'm like are you serious right now are you see do I are you serious how long you been on my page do I look 530 530 some odd pounds to you then obviously that's my before because who the hell would, <laughs> who the hell would put up your regain that, I mean that much regain that's like that's like almost 300 pounds of regain. I'm like, well, this I'm real excited about my 300 pound regain. That's obviously my before and after. I just put it up the way I want to because I do what I want, pretty much. So I'm happy today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, night. I hope it's wherever you are. You're having the best time ever. I hope that you know. Um, 
shit. I hope everyone's having a good time. I, I just love you guys to pieces. Uh, Mises to pieces. Nope. No. I gotta, I gotta get off here. So, I love you beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I really, truly do wish everybody a wonderful day. I hope what I said in here wasn't crazy time and wasn't too much squirrel. And I will talk to you guys very, very, very soon. Mm.